Oof, I love getting fragrances later when reviewers have forgotten about it or really not talking about it. This fragrance I scooped up for the low on the EBZs, and let me tell you, the hype is kind of real. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to this little gem that's got fig and tea. Bless and morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. This fragrance had a wild buzz a few months back. A few reviewers started getting this bottles, and this particular one from this line started getting boosted. I bagged this one off the EBs for a nice price and started testing it out. And man, maybe that hype wasn't wrong. The fragrance is by BDK, and that's Grease Charnel. Mm. Tea and fig talk to me dirty. This lovely, 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 lovely. I love what it did on my skin. The first wear though, performance was a little suspect, not gonna lie. The first time I wore it, I wanted more. I wanted a blast. So I don't recall it being an underspray situation. I recall it being a little bit warmer than it has been. So I don't know if that had to play. Maybe my skin wasn't on point that day, whatever, because the second time around, I don't know if I had lotion on and I was baby oiled up trying to take a photo shoot like I'm an out of work firefighter, but it really performed very well on my skin. Wasn't a beast at all. Now, this is just an enjoyable fucking fragrance and fig done very nicely, but not only fig, it has this grainy vetiver vibe around it, a little bit of booze and somewhat leatherish tones, not to mention that tea vibe. So it's got a lot of smoothness to it and a lot of subtle and sexiness and cuddly vibe about it. The fragrance is completely unisex. It just has this oof factor that I'm with, just talk to me. Nice amount of vetiver. Off skin, you do get that iris. It's not overly powdery, but it is noticeable. You got that lipstick makeup bag kind of vibe. The fig is super present and it has a bit of juiciness. Again, the vetiver vibes in here is a little bit grainy off my skin, but it's not off putting. It just gives it some dimension. And then you get this tea leaf vibe that's, mm, it's, it's our problem. Very, very good fragrance. I, I, I can't sit in front of the camera and just talk a bunch of ya ya like I usually do because the shit just works. It's super pleasant, super well executed. I love what it does on my skin and it has a bit of versatility. I wouldn't pinpoint this to a specific season. I think this would be one of those fragrances that has versatility all seasons. Right now I'm getting more of this iris graininess from the vetiver. A little bit of a suede, maybe not leather, more of a suede vibe. The fig is still there, that tea is just, Mm. See if you can shop it around. I don't know who got it. Maybe Max Aroma, maybe Fragrance Buy. I'm sure any and all these motherfuckers got it. I got it on the eBay, so I think it's an awesome fragrance. I love it, will be wearing it. It's gonna have to get more wears, but right now it's absolutely a ball sprayer. Mm. And I'm wearing no pants, trust me. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know if this is your BDK vibes. I got another BDK coming soon and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game, smooches. Who I know, 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 who I for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.